Hey there everyone, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme, and today we're going to take a look at the Layout Manager for Gantry 5. The Layout Manager is an administrative panel within Gantry 5 that enables you to configure the layout of the site. This includes everything from individual modules to particles, module positions, where the page's content area goes, and more. To access the Layout Manager, all you have to do is head back to the administrator within Joomla and head up to Components, Gantry 5 Themes. From there, you'll find the theme that you wish to edit. In this case, it's Hydrogen. I'll configure it with the uh, blue button there and head over to the layout panel. Now, by default, if you access it through this method, you are in the base configuration. This is global default. Any page or area of the site that does not have a, an override, for example, in this case, the configuration of Hydrogen Home assigned to it will receive the global default settings. And at this point, we are going to stick with Hydrogen Home since we're looking at the home page right here. The home page is laid out in a very basic fashion. There's a uh, sample content particle, another sample content particle, and so on and so forth. Going uh, here, you can see where we actually do have this layout. The menu is in the navigation section. That's right here at the top. The showcase of the sample content particle in the showcase is what you see right here, including the logo, the text, and the read more link. And as you scroll down the page, you'll see basically every aspect of the page is represented in the layout manager. Now, if we want to do add a particle or module, we'd go over to the sidebar here. As you can see, there's this particle sidebar where you have positions such as module instances, which are virtual injections of single modules. They're not positions that you would assign a module to. You're just taking a module that's published and you're putting it in place. There is a module position where you can freely assign modules uh, to as well as a spacer. What a spacer does is it adds a buffer to your content. So for example, let's say I wanted uh, the menu to be on the far right side of the page. I would add a spacer right here, save layout, go to the front page, refresh. And as you can see, I've knocked the menu over because the first 50% of the, because the first 50% of the page is taken up by this blank space. Now, if I wanted to undo a change that I've made, even if I've saved it, there's an undo button right here. You just click that and everything goes back. You save it, return to the front page, and everything's back the way it was. All right, now one thing we would like to do here, just to do a quick demonstration of what you can do with the Layout Manager, is I'm going to add content to the Feature section. The Feature section currently doesn't have anything in it, so it's collapsed, but it sits right under the Showcase and right before this section here, which I believe is the main section. And the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to add a row. By doing that, you just hit the plus sign here. Now, I do want to point out real quick the section settings. If you click that little cogwheel, you can add a CSS class to the entire section. And that includes everything from left to right within this area that any particles or modules that you place here uh, will appear. You can also add tag attributes. It's very simple to do. Okay, and to this feature, we're going to add three sample content particles. And it's just a click and drag type of deal. If you are on a touch device, you touch it, you drag it over, and then you let go. It's very simple to do. So we've added three sample content particles. I'm going to customize it at this point. Add an image. First one, I'll give the sunset. I'll say headline one. And under the short description, I'm going to add some Lauren Ipsum. I will apply my changes and do the same to the third one. All right, now another thing I'd like to do is, well, I'm gonna save at this point just to show you exactly what happened on the front end. I'll refresh and as you can see, we've created three separate particles and they're all in one row as we have it in the layout manager. One thing for development sake, the feature section, everything in this section is within a grid. And that grid takes up 100% width of the page. Now each item within the grid is a block. So for example, uh, this sample content particle, its blocks width is set at 33.3%. All right, now let's say I wanted to make the center particle a little bit bigger than the others. I'm going to click and drag the border between them and make them 25% on either side with a 50% sample content uh, particle in the middle. Actually, you know what, I'm going to 
give them 30. So it's just as easy as clicking and dragging. Very simple to do. I'll save my layout, go to the front page, and refresh. All right, so now that we've added something in the Layout Manager, I want to get rid of it. Let's say I really don't like this sample content particle in the middle, and I'd like to just have these two on either side. All I have to do is just click and drag to the top right here in this little red X where it says drop here to delete. Save my changes, go to the front page, and there we go. I now have two sample particles, each side by side, and by default taking up 50 50%. Now I don't have to have it that way. I can just as easily click and drag again to change the width of each particle. All right, also on the Layout Manager, you'll notice this Load button. Now the Load button is a very powerful button. It enables you to quickly load a preset layout within the list. Now preset layouts are included with the theme and template, but you can create additional presets and you can check out our documentation at docs.gantry.org to find out more. So if, for example, I really don't like this particular preset, but there is one that I do want, and that's the default, I'll hit load and everything changes. All of the particles are already set up. They're all already configured exactly as they would be in that preset. The preset basically just loads everything for you. And you just save the layout, you go to the page, and bam, we're back in the default preset. In this case, it's loading up the Joomla testing article right here. All right, and the last thing I'll cover right here is just this clear button. What the clear button does is it gives you a blank slate based on the sections that are within the current loaded layout. So I'll hit clear, and we still have header, navigation, main, footer, off canvas, and atoms but there's nothing in them. So you get a blank slate that you can fill with whatever you would like. All right, and this has just been a few ways that the layout manager within Gantry 5 can help make your life easier. If you have any questions about Gantry, please feel free to visit our documentation at docs.gantry.org. Additionally, you can chat with members of the development team as well as our growing community on Gitter or tweet us at Rocket Theme. Thank you for watching. And as always, we hope you enjoy your experience with Gantry 5.